I'm Susie Meyer. I'm a sophomore at Glen Academy, and today we're going to be reading Froggy's Halloween by Jonathan London. For Froggy, Halloween meant candy, but it also meant dressing up, and he wondered, what should I be for Halloween? I know, cried Froggy, Super Frog, flying high over the city, faster than a dragonfly stronger than a bullfrog. No, something spooky. I know, cried Froggy, ghost frog. He poked two holes in his mother's best white sheet and draped it over his head. No, something scarier. I know, cried Froggy, vampire frog. He put on his black cape, zwoosh. He pulled on his mom's black tights, zup. He put on his slick black wig, zap, and said in his best Dracula voice, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care, I'll pull down your underwear. Froggy, called his mother, what? Halloween's not till next week. You're supposed to be doing your homework, dear. I'm Count Von Frogula, said Froggy. Vampire frogs don't do homework. Froggy's mother laughed. Vampires have fangs, she said. You're a toothless wonder. Oops, cried Froggy, covering his mouth. So all week at school, Froggy wondered, what should I be for Halloween? A football player? A cowboy? A zombie? Froggy, cried his teacher, Miss Witherspoon. What? Kindly keep your mind on your work, dear. But his mind was on Halloween. Every day after school, he got ready. He carved crazy pumpkins. He hung sticky spider webs all over the front of his house. He hung his mother's sheet like a ghost in the wind. And he practiced. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. At last, it was the night before Halloween. And all through the house, there was a creaking sound and scratching sound. Froggy was scared. He shivered in bed and imagined ghosts and goblins and werewolves and witches. Witches, zap. I know, cried Froggy. I'll be the frog, the frog prince for Halloween. In the morning, he put on his black cape, zwoosh. Pulled on his mom's black tights, zap. Put on his slick black wig, zap. Plunked on a gold crown, zunk. And flashed his mighty sword, ta-da. At the Halloween parade at school, all the girls thought he looked cute, especially Frogolina. And that night, when the dark crept in and all the ghosts and goblins crept out to trick or treat, Princess Frogolina leapt out and chased after the frog prince to give him a kiss. Eek! cried Froggy. He was never more scared in his life. He leapfrogged over his mother. He leapfrogged over his father. He leapfrogged over his friend Max and flopped up Max's steps, flop, flop, splat. He tripped on the porch, and Frogolina fell on top of him. The door flew open, flew open, and uh-oh, there stood the wickedest witch in the world. Trick or treat, squeaked Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Luckily, Frogolina ran away, and the witch turned out to be Max's granny. And that Halloween, Froggy got tons of candy, but his sword had torn a hole in the candy bag. And by the time he got home, his candy was all gone. Oh no, cried Froggy. What's the matter? asked his mother. He showed her his empty bag. Well, you're in luck, said his mother, holding up a full bowl. I guess nobody liked my treat. And what do you think she gave him? Chocolate covered flies. Yum, cried Froggy, my favorite. Munch, crunch, munch. 